friends, she takes you through the heartaches, she takes you through the loving memories, they're just, they're exceptional. You see it through the eyes of those characters and you live with them, you rejoice with them, you cry with them, and it's just the most amazing thing ever. I feel that when she's writing the book, I'm in these books. It's so nice to have a Christian writer that writes about the things that you face each and every day. She's had a way of just moving me to tears. I've experienced every feeling and emotion that you could possibly experience. When I first started reading the book, I just could not put it down. Just love the book. You were made a Kleenex. Words just can't even describe what she's done for my life. It's clear that God is using her, and there have been many times I'm reading, and it's as if God is speaking those exact words to me. You know, success is a funny thing, and my dad was always very instrumental in telling me, Karen, you never will have autograph lines in heaven. And he would say, never believe what people are saying. If they're saying something great or if they're saying something bad, you be the writer that God called you to be. My reader friends are really just that, they're friends. I feel like I have spared no details of my heart when I write a book. So I'll meet someone in a line or at an event and they'll say, I've read everything that you've written. And I'll just look at them and say, well then, we're already friends. The message of The Bridge is one of second chances. It's really about the miracle of a second chance that as long as there is love and faith and family, no situation is beyond hope. And so with this, with the love story set against the demise of the American bookstore and the struggles there, we still find the miracle of a second chance. When someone picks up a Karen Kingsbury book, when they dive into that story, I feel like there's a chance that they'll be taught something very important through the back door of their heart. So they didn't pick up a how-to book. They were looking to be entertained. They were looking to uh, find an escape. But in the process, they walk away and they say, wow, I learned something about love that I never knew before. And it changed my life. Where have you been? Where have you been? Where have you been? <laughs> She's great. She's fantastic. You'll read her first book within 24 hours, guaranteed.